Red FM, FIFO Focus, Big Al here with you. And I'm now joined by Dr. John, who is the clinical director at FIFO Focus. Good morning, mate. How are you? Very well, thank you, Alan. Great to be here. Uh, now, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, health care, uh, self-care, I should say, in regards to men. Uh, what's some tips and why is it so important? It's really important because it's one of those things that I think men avoid a lot. They think they're, they're bulletproof, they just keep going. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, no one's going to do it for you. You've got to look after yourself. And if I can play a bit of a guilt card here, if you really want to be there for the people you love and the people you want to care about, mm-hmm. you've got to put yourself first. So you need to focus on yourself and get some of the right things done. I think uh, you're spot on when you say like guys are kind of like, I know it feels so manly. You don't want to ever admit that you've got anything that you need to deal with. You just rather like just brave it and just keep on walking through. Yeah, that's right. We usually wait until bits fall off and then turn up the doctor and it's all too late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, so what would be some tips, I guess, and some advice? Um, in, in broad terms, you need to, to think about, I, I think about it in terms of the three Bs, mm-hmm. okay? Body, brain, and buddies. You've got to look after your body, so you need to get some exercise in. Uh, it doesn't have to be really vigorous, but it needs to be pretty regular. And okay. in, in terms of general stress management and stuff like that, a 40-minute walk each day is more than enough. Okay. Eat well, okay? It's always tempting to just grab a snack, throw a Macca's down, that sort of stuff. It sure you know, is. Well, it's okay from time to time. There's no problem with that. But, yep. you know, put the right fuel in, you know, like everything else, you'll get the good stuff coming out. Okay. And... Go to the doctor. You know, get your regular physical checkups at least once a year. Don't be afraid about the prostate exam. Everyone <laughs> goes through it. It's one I, of those things. <laughs> I'm, I am terrified of it one day, but not any time soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, just check the size of your doctor's finger. That's uh, yeah, go for a doctor with small hands. I love it. Smart advice. You got That's that. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, then there's the brain. Okay, mm-hmm. that's that's the thing that runs the show. That's you. So we've got to do the basics like stress management, mm-hmm. and that includes learning how to relax, chill out, listen to some music, and go for a walk. Like switching of off. How hard is it? You know, at times. Yeah, exactly. But if you set time aside for it, if you actually give yourself permission and say, "This is it, mm-hmm. I'm going back home, or I'm going back to where I'm wherever I'm sleeping tonight, yep. and I'm going to give myself half an hour. Yep, just no. going to relax. Set Perfect. time aside. Make an appointment with yourself." Another good one is learning how to say no. Mm. I think by default, when we're asked something, we tend to say yes, particularly if we're being asked by people we care about, colleagues, that sort of thing. I'd recommend just make your default response no. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be an absolute (laughs) no. Okay. Okay. I'm talking about just buying yourself some time. Okay. You can say something like, "Uh, look, I'll have to have a think about that. I'm not sure if I can, so I'll say no for the moment. Then have a think. And you can always go back to them later and say... That's the most polite no I've ever heard in my life. I love it. I'm going to adopt that. (laughs) Exactly. You can always give them a surprise and change your mind later. Yep. Um, But think about also what your absolute no's are. Mm -hmm. Okay? You've got to set the limits and the boundaries. So I'm never going to agree to come and fix anyone's computer again. (laughs) That sort of thing. (laughs) Sound like from experience. (laughs) Exactly. But also get to know yourself. Because part of this with the brain is, I guess making sure that you get what you need out of life. Where do you feel deprived, I guess? Um, what extra do you need? What what would you need to, to perform at your best? Mm-hmm. What would you need to be happiest? And when I talk to people about that, everyone tells me they want to be happy. But I'll ask them, well, what would make you happy? And they've got no idea. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those things everyone knows what we're talking about, but no one actually does it. So yeah. you know, sit down and figure out what would make you happy mm-hmm. and then go and get it. And the basics like making sure you've got some hobbies and pastimes and, you know, sports built in there. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's good because that lets you connect with people and that sort of thing. Which is the last one, the buddies part. Mm -hmm. Okay? You've got 50% of every relationship. You're in complete control of Mm -hmm. that. So you don't have to wait for people to call you. You can call them. Make sure you stay connected with your friends. Make sure you stay connected with your family. Give them a call. At worst case, send a text message. But get together with them. I think a lot of people are kind of like, you know, I always call them. I don't want to call them anymore. Well, sometimes that's just a relationship that you have. Like, you've just got to make the call. Still be friends with them, you know. Don't just, like, let it just kind of go just because that's the kind of person that doesn't really think that way, you know? Yeah, exactly right. And and people can get into misunderstandings and you haven't called me for a while and I'll think I've done something wrong and Mm -hmm. you'll think the same thing. But at the end of the day, if we're friends, it shouldn't matter who calls who. Excellent. Yeah, so if you want to call someone, get on the phone. Great advice. Just go send them a text message. Just say hi. I want to put a smiley face on you. <laughs> Maybe a winky face, eh? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Some great advice there. Great. Thanks, Alan. 
Of course, for more information, go to the website, fifofocus.com.au. That wraps up FIFO Life for this week. In the meantime, guys, take care. If you have any questions or queries, hit up the Red FM Facebook page. See you guys.